wellness. Wellness is about finding balance and harmony in mind, body and spirit. It's about living our best lives possible every day. It's more than just physical exercises. It connects mental, emotional and spiritual threads as well. Therefore, remember, wellness is not a destination but a journey made through our everyday choices. So let's commit to prioritizing self-care, positivity and supporting each other in this journey to wellness. Hi, welcome everybody. My name is Ashutosh and we want to talk about wellness today. Wellness is, isn't just physical. It encompasses physical, mental, social and emotional well-being. While some uh, find wellness in exercise uh, with nutrition, others would emphasize on mindfulness, meditation, and managing stress for their mental well-being. For some, uh, social connections, uh, a friendly chat uh, with uh, friends is the way to manage their social and emotional well-being. For me personally, exercise and nutrition is one part uh, which, which I invest in. The other part is, of course, uh, having a good conversation and chat with my friends and colleagues. I get into the morning and uh, try to have a quick conversation with as many colleagues as possible. And it fills me with a lot of positive energy which gets me through the day. So remember there is no one size fit all approach. Balance is, is the key and you have to find what best work for you. So whether it's a brisk walk, a moment of mindfulness or a heart to heart chat with a friend, prioritize what matters to you on your wellness journey. Thanks for watching. Take care. Hello friends, hope you're doing well. In this wellness fair, I want to talk about a topic which is very close to a finance professional's heart, which is financial wellness. Now, everybody expects us to be a champion in there, but I would want to debate it. I'm not going to talk about anything which is new to you, but it's always nice to reiterate. So I have three topics here. One, which is, which is budgeting and saving. It is very important for an individual or a household to have a very close understanding of what is the saving target that the household wants. Depending on your income, define a saving target. 25%, 30% or a very super aggressive 40%. Now, the general conception is income minus your expenses is your saving. I would want to tweak it. Now that you have defined a saving percentage, it has to be income minus your saving has to be a budget for your expenses. Topic number two, debt management. Now debt is not a bad word. Credit card is not an ugly thing. Uh, loans are not bad till the time you are paying on time. Make sure you can't miss an installment. You can't pay penalty. You don't want to kind of pay heavy interest on your defaults. So leveraging debt is not a bad thing, but then restructuring of that debt and consolidation are the tools that can help you. Topic number three, which is investments and retirement saving. You need to define your goal. What's that goal? Is that retirement? Is that your uh, dream house? Is that going to be your child's education? Or is it that fancy car that you always wanted to buy? But once the goal is defined, now you have to have a systematic way in terms of investing on a periodic basis to arrive at that, that goal. As Albert Einstein once said that the eighth wonder is compound interest. Now, for that, the key is the time. Start investing as early as possible so that you reach your goal. Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Fitness is an extremely simple thing which people often tend to overcomplicate. There are so many forms of physical exercises to choose from and there is no set rule. So you can try and see what works for you. The key is to enjoy it. Only then you will be able to continue with it in the long term. You can choose cardio, strength training, yoga or even Pilates. Personally, I'm a big fan of strength training, especially for females, because it works wonders for your body. And please don't think that you would become bulky or start looking like a bodybuilder if you're strength training. As females, if you're training with weights, it is only going to improve your overall body composition and tone your body in general. And lastly, please do not fall for fat diets 
they're not sustainable your body doesn't need it all you're required to do is eat healthy well balanced meals which fulfill your overall nutritional requirements health is not simply a matter of absence of illness health means constant challenge constant creativity and an unbeatable spirit this is what my mentor dr daisaku ikeda states how i take care of my health is through my spiritual practice of buddhism through reading through spending time with my pet walking and you could have different ways to take care of your well-being but i would strongly encourage each of you to find out what is it that works for you and to keep at it thank you hello everyone today i'm going to talk about the importance of physical fitness in our overall wellness journey i'm excited to share why i like running running for me is not just about physical fitness it's about my time to clear my mind boost my energy and set some new goals i also like trekking listening to the sound of chirping birds and catching early morning sunrise for people who are looking to choose some physical activity it's important to find something that you enjoy make it fun find company of like minded people set realistic goals and listen to your body let's embark on our wellness journey together stay healthy stay fit